What's going on, guys? You got Quasi of Quasi Media Network and Quasi Animation Studio. Now we're talking about Auto Rig Pro. Again, it's a pretty simple thing. If you have it, then you can use this retargeter. Okay. Now, when I use Auto Rig, I tend to use it, use the actual rigging for Auto Rig. Okay. I also use Quick Rig, which creates a rig from the existing rig. So, like, if I was to click this, here's Quick Rig. Can do this. Quick rig is separate from auto rig, so you don't get it with auto rig. You have to get it separately, all right? And then I can just generate a rig that can use the remapping, and it's it's the bone list matches better versus armature. But we're going to use armature, okay? So we're going to go to remapping, open it up, and what you want to do right here where it says target, hit the eyedropper, and it automatically puts Toshi in there. So now we want to bring in an animation. So file, import, FBX, and then find an animation that you want. Again, we're going to do run stop. Okay, so uh, one thing you'll notice over here is animation, and it's, it's ticked. I have it on zero because I use I go I use zero as my first frame and not one. You also may say one, you can leave it that way. Don't bother it with it. Okay, so unlike in Rococo, I can actually move this model over, and it will retarget where he stands. Now that also depends on the armature type. Like if you have animations that you may have that you want to use that come from something like Unreal Engine or something, a lot of times the Unreal Engine armature snap back to the center and so you'll just have to put it in front so go to the object data properties for the bones and then click in front and then you can see all your bones however I'm going to slide over and then I'm going to for the source I drop now it gives me a little bone list but I'm going to hit bone list and then it's probably going to be incorrect okay because this is an armature and I know that sucks but this is what you will do so what I tend to do is I tend to select both armatures go into pose mode okay and from this armature I'll click the shoulder and then click this synchro select when I click it it'll give me this so I clearly see that the shoulder is linked if you look here shoulder L shoulder L so I'm gonna click the other one but it didn't give me that one so I click this one and hit eyedropper and now it's there and you would do this for each consecutive bone okay so since we already have this on the left let's go to the left side and look at what it shows and it doesn't have the bones selected so I have to keep continuing doing this until I have what I want. I tend not to do the hands because, again, I tend to uh, usually animate those myself. You can do those if you like. It's still the same format. Don't know why I said mouth stretch. How do you get mouth stretch from that? <laughs> All right. Come over here. I already see. All right. Come over here. Click it. I drop. And now, even even then, like this is already set, so it's there. You can actually type in the bones if you know their their thing. So head, and it's for some reason it has it as forearm. I think it's weird because there's an actual word that says head, neck. Don't know why it's not there, but here we go. Just gonna I drop it, and then we're gonna go to the first spine bone. It has it set already. Go to the next one. Has it set already? to the next one has it set already and then now we're going to go to where it says the hips and this one isn't set but it will still be the same one here click there and there you have it okay now let's go to the legs not set and then just make your way down that particular leg okay and then we go to the foot foot is set go to the toe no toe is set so it's set to toe okay so come over here do the same thing leg is not set Again, this is for the armature. If you had this rigged with auto rig or even rigify, it actually will sync better because there are drop downs for those things. Okay. But you cannot use and this is for importing, but understand these are for control rigs, not necessarily always those rigs. Like you can go in and like, like say for instance rigify. If the model is a rigify model, then it will link up with it perfectly. Okay. But you notice there's no nothing for human generator, so I'm using human generator. Okay. Even though it would sort of be like a rigify rig because it is a meta rig, I don't recommend using this because it's going to just kill your entire, it's going to wipe all of this clean. Okay. So just make your own and, and make it simple, uh, easy for yourself. All right. And I'll show you what to do there. And here we go. So we're going to go to the foot, the toe, and we're done there. All right. So what you want to do is hit export. And then you can go to whatever it is that you have, and then you can just like 
export it because I don't know if it's showing this on the screen or not. So it's going to show your your files and you can go to whatever folder you have set up. Mine just says Auto Repro. And then what you want to do is actually create a mapping list. So you're going to export this mapping and I'm just going to call it uh, HG Armature uh, 2 da uh, not da <laughs> Mixamo Armature underscore mapping and then just exit exit that and then I have this set already so I never have to come back and reset it again so now I want to click this rig and what I want to do is come down here to redefine rest pose okay so I'm gonna go redefine rest pose and you can do it as this current saved or rest right when it goes to it's gonna go into its rest pose but when I do this I want to select the arms and the legs okay don't select anything else because it's gonna give you some weird weird stuff okay I'm gonna copy selected bones and then hit apply so now if you saw it it went to that layer unlike Rococo that doesn't have this we're gonna get a better retarget okay all right so now I did this for a reason and yes it was on purpose it shows you that the that that the root isn't set so what you want to make sure of is that the root is selected here on whatever the hip is right so the hip bone which it decided it didn't want it no longer wanted to have as a hip bone okay so yeah so the hip bone here right so what I want to do is just go set as root so once I set it as root it's set there and then we want to go back to export it and we want to export it again and then go from there so uh, I'm going to go and resave this so that it's set accordingly all right there we go is that it right there oh I already had one. <laughs> I already had one sitting there. All right, so it's set, and now we already have, we've already done the redefine pose, but now we want to just hit retarget. So what I like to do on the retarget is I go to Bezier on the interpolation and then click fake user so to make it a fake user, and then we wait. Now it's set, and only thing that I have a problem with here is the fingers, but we'll fix that. Okay, so it's set. And if we play it back, because back to 24, if we play it back, it's set. And if I hit one, we relatively see everything is pretty much the same as that. And I didn't have to do as much work. However, I noticed that this finger here is quite jacked. So I'm going to come in here. And don't forget, over here in your, if you have, because I have an action editor above my timeline, you want to have show only selected. So I see it has no animation on it these have it this one does not okay and for some reason and likely because it just didn't link up because of over here so this is where i would go in and actually do a uh, like i'll turn the fake user off and then i would just come over here and actually get these fingers set okay because i know it's this one yeah so it's the ring finger and what i'll do is this because they're going to all be lined up with each other and I know I want the first one and it's this one so I'll go and then go to the next one click it and this is so much easier click this boom and then come out of this and then what I'll do is again on this on this particular time I'll export again because I want to make sure that's part of the mapping I don't want to change my mapping okay <clears throat> excuse me I'm going to actually get rid of the fake user, delete that, put him back in regular mode. I'm going to retarget again. Excuse me, I'm sorry. And we no longer have that issue with the finger. Okay, now that doesn't mean that they're going to be pretty because you can go in and correct that. That's why I make my own. But there you have it. And you're set to go. And again, this is not if you're using. If you're using a control rig, it is the exact same thing. Nothing changes. Do not overthink the process. Hope this helped you. Nothing but love.